standing, or I am standing, I should say, at number eight Claremont Street in South Yarra, which is our newest igloo in Australia and our second building into Melbourne. It's in the beautiful suburb of South Yarra, which is a very hip uh, neighbourhood with lots of restaurants, um, great transport options with only two minutes to South Yarra train station. And we've got a really lovely boutique uh, feel here. So I'd like to invite you all inside. So before we get going, I just wanted to introduce myself again, because obviously we were outside. Um, I started at Igloo some three years ago and look after the partnership business, working with all of Australia's <coughs> universities and colleges in Melbourne, Brisbane and Sydney. This is our newest Igloo uh, to Melbourne and here we have 448 beds across 21 floors. We're standing in our reception area where we, on the left hand side here, have um, a meeting space uh, for students which is available seven days a week. They can book it if they've got large groups of friends coming in for university assignments uh, or they can just use it as their private study space as well. Now we're just coming past reception. Every igloo uh, building has reception and here at South Yarra um, the hours are here's Emma and Craig who are our customer service coordinators. So the reception is open Monday to Friday from 9 to 7 p.m and on a weekend from nine to six. We're also staffed here with six full-time um, feminine employees, as well as our four resident leaders. And our resident leader program is actually made up of our students, and they are really our conduit between the student community, as well as also management. And it's a wonderful employment opportunity for you um, coming to look at Igloo as well to apply for our program. So what we're going to do today is just scoot through our reception area and our foyer and go straight up to um, a couple of our apartments. And we've got four apartment types, which I'll be able to share with you when we're up on the floors. So if you just want to follow me, we're going to go up in the lift. Now we may uh, drop out for a moment, but rest assured we're going to level 12 and we'll be able to join you again shortly. So I'll just press the button. Please feel free along the way to ask any questions. And my colleague Audrey here uh, and Alice, who's also online, uh, can assist you um, as we go. You can also have a bit of a sneak peek while we're waiting for the lift. So down here, we've got two separate study spaces, some other study tables and our beautiful fireplace. Hello. Hi. Hi. Going up. Turn left, exit the lift, turn left. Yeah. 12. It's 200 people now. Okay. Can... I'm just Hi, everyone. Good to see you all again. We're now on the 12th floor and on every igloo floor we have a notice board which connects the community to our events program um, and also to our resident leaders. So you'll see here we've got Camilla, we've got Cheryl, Lee and Mia and they're from all over the place um, studying here um, at uh, the University of Melbourne, um, at RMIT and also at Monash University and span everywhere from Latin America to China uh, to Singapore. So we've got a really global community uh, living with us at Igloo. And the other thing that's always um, topical is obviously our event program. So the resident leaders are in charge of pulling things together. And obviously, as we are under COVID restrictions, we've had to be extremely creative. So a lot of our events here, we've actually provided for a food event the ingredients and then we'll actually run through House Party, a community event where students will get together and actually uh, make uh, the food and learn new skills, as well as even uh, a terrarium uh, planting workshop. So from crepes to pizza to terrariums um, and even a de-stress with slime. So nothing's off the menu, so to speak, in terms of creative projects. 
We're now going to go into um, what is called our standard studio apartment. So again, going through security. The tour. There's actually a tour with some prospective students going on here. Um, so what we might do is we're just going to duck back right down the hallway and um, we'll take a look at another one of our apartments that um, we're going to get back there. So we're now going to go into actually our first room type, um, which is, it's a new room type to Igloo, um, but due to popular demand, uh, we've created what is called our single studio. Now every room at Igloo actually has its own ensuite bathroom, which you'll see as a consistent element across all of our room types. Um, but here we've got access to the convention microwave oven, refrigerator, cleaning storage, um, all of the utensils, so toaster and kettle uh, comes with the room as well. Um, there's good size uh, pantry storage there, uh, wardrobes in every room with drawers, um, also your own vacuum mop and bucket suitcase storage and other underbed storage here. So in this particular room type you've got the king single bed, another table, your television and then a study space. And then once again um, the other thing that I wanted to make note which is a consistent feature of Igloo is our splitter cooler system for heating and, and cooling um, at any time. So for all power equipment, obviously you just need to insert your room key, which will then activate. So we're also about energy efficiency. When you're not in the room, obviously you take that card out, which you need to gain access again. But it means then that obviously you're not using the power at the same time. So that will automatically turn off your television or your heater cooler uh, if that was to be running. And the other thing too is that we pride ourselves on is our operable Louvre windows. So in every apartment, you can actually get fresh air into your room, um, which unlike a number of hotel rooms um, and some other apartments don't actually have the ability to be able to get fresh air in. So we love that ventilation um, and living in a healthy way. Every room, as I said, at Igloo comes with its own ensuite bathroom, which um, is a fantastic, um, I suppose, facility for not only privacy, um, but also cleanliness, um, because it, it, it requires, obviously, students to be able to keep their bathrooms clean, but um, you're not having to actually share those facilities with others. So now that we've been in this room, we're going to head to one of our um, standard um, studios as well. In terms of though, just before we skip out, um, in terms of rates, at the moment we have a special offer on. So for a 12 month stay in this particular room type, it's $389. And if you wanted to stay for six months, it's $414. Um, so if you're wanting to book that, you can download the U Homes app um, and make obviously the inquiry and the booking through that particular platform. We're going to scoot back down the hallway and go into our family studio because I think the tour is just actually finished with another family. Once again, if you're wanting to ask any questions, we encourage you to post while I'm actually doing the tour as well. Welcome here to um, our studio. 
um, here you'll notice automatically that the room is slightly larger. It um, contains a double bed, um, but all the features are, are similar in terms of desk, television, operable louver windows, your heater, cooler. Here, obviously, we've got the eating table as well as a corner, a corner kitchen um, with the same sort of facilities in terms of the hot plate sink um, and the, the convection um, microwave. Um, a double cupboard here with the cleaning facilities. So all the things that you see, Igloo provides those utilities into the room. Um, and for one um, standard um, fee, um, all your utilities in terms of gas, water and electricity um, are provided as well. And once again, um, the same ensuite bathroom. So in terms of um, the current offer for this particular room on a 12 month stay, you're looking at $419 per week. And for a six month stay, it's $444. So again, we would encourage you to get onto the U Homes app and inquire and book for this type of room. So this one is a standard studio. Um, in terms of the number of guests, because obviously there is a double bed, uh, we do get quite a bit of inquiry about our, our guest policy. Um, still for this particular room type, it's just one, one guest staying here. But for our premium studios, um, you can actually have um, a friend to stay as well, or you can have an additional uh, tenant that is named on your particular lease. Um, and typically that costs around $70 extra per week uh, for those wanting to share. But again, that um, sharing occupancy, uh, occupant must be a student. Now we're going to come back to the living again and we're going to duck down to level seven. So once again, thanks for your patience. We might drop out for a minute, but then we'll be back online. Going down. Two hundred and seventy people. Two hundred and seventy. We have eleven minutes on time. So if you are even eleven minutes. No, no, we are on time. We only use eleven minutes. To the left and the left. One second. Which one you want to Can you see us? Again. Now we're going to go into apartment 703 and this is one of our shared apartments. We have six students residing here and once again I've gone through another lockable door and then every apartment down the hallway has its own lock. So we're going to come into what is our communal space first. So in here, these apartments shared by six students actually have this wonderful large kitchen. So in here, you've actually got the full use of an oven plus your microwave, a four um, burner hot plate, um, obviously a double fridge, your toaster, your kettle, um, and then clearly the lounge area um, with the television, couch, um, and other pod seating. So the wonderful thing about Igloo South Yarra is it's brand new. We've only been open for three weeks and we're really starting to build out inquiry now for semester two. Um, there's quite a bit of flexibility in terms of room types. So I'm going to show you in a minute. In these particular apartments, there's what's called our premium shared room, 
which actually has a sort of an outward uh, facing view. And then we've also got um, our inward facing views. And there is a difference there in price. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you one of our inward facing view rooms first, and then I'll show you the, the other side. Um, just to finish off in here, uh, what we have experienced in many of our other Igloo properties is that students really are living in these apartments, they can decide whether in fact they want to be located in an all-female, an all-male, or a mixed-gender apartment. Um, but what we've also found is that when students get to know each other, they'll actually share out their cooking responsibilities. And South Yarra is such a wonderful suburb with lots of different eateries, but also the Paran Market and major supermarkets uh, in and around the neighbourhood, as well as some specialty um, Asian supermarkets as well. So what we find is that students will get together when they're living in these types of apartments and plan out their meals and then they'll shop together and cook together. But it saves time, energy and most importantly money uh, because they're sharing the cost um, and they're able to experience something that's truly Melbourne uh, but also a little bit of a taste of home which we know actually makes a lot of students feel quite comfortable when they can source the food that they're used to eating at home. So we're very, very spoilt for choice. Uh, as well as obviously the, the beautiful Yarra River down the, down the road as well. So for bike riding, walking, uh, bird watching um, and physical exercise, it's, it's fantastic. So we're going to go into the oh, slide. Oh, oh, oh. One second. This one. <laughs> Number three, sorry. Um, okay, so this is one of our, what we call our standard... Um, our standard shared rooms. So the reason that this room is called standard is because it's got obviously an internal view. Um, we are, you know, in, in fairly high density living, I suppose, on this particular site. So some, some views are a bit different. In terms of though the facilities, um, obviously students still have access uh, to their pod bathroom, uh, which is identical across all room types. Um, and you also have access there to, you know, your heater, cooler and your operable loo windows um, and your, your storage. What these rooms, I suppose, and, and the real difference between, say, a, a studio or a single studio versus a shared apartment, these rooms don't have televisions in them. But we often find that a lot of students don't necessarily use the TV because you're all streaming on your phones or your own devices. Um, and so that's not necessarily um, such a, uh, you know, doesn't discord, obviously, with students. In terms of, though, the, the facilities and the storage, they're all still very similar. Obviously, with your wardrobe, your underbed storage here. Um, and then, then also the bookshelves. So, so they want to have a look at the study table. Uh -huh. So we also provide the lamps in here as well. So this particular room on a 12 month contract is at 319 per week or 344 uh, per week on a six month contract. And then what we're gonna do is just duck across the hallway to what's called our premium shared room which is the last room type that I'm going to show you today. Okay. So you can see clearly this room is lighter, it's brighter. And if Audrey just comes over to this corner, she'll be able to sort of give you a bit of a sneak peek out the window as well. Um, So once again, the facilities in here, the study spaces, the large beds, um, all of the storage is, is identical, um, as well as the rooms and the bathroom. So if you are interested in what's called our premium shared apartment room, which is this room type, 
Um, we have these on special at the moment for $339 for a 12 month contract or $369 for a six month contract. So still incredibly attractive rates given that we are only eight minutes by train to Monash Caulfield campus or eight minutes back into Melbourne CBD to the shopping precinct of Emporium, Melbourne Central, directly opposite RMIT City Campus, uh, Monash College in the city, as well as then just up the road to Melbourne University. Um, so South Yarra is very well situated still to be able to access uh, both Monash Caulfield, Monash Clayton, as well as um, RMIT, University of Melbourne, Monash College uh, back into the city. And then um, it is also well placed for those students studying at Deakin Burwood or at Swinburne uh, as well. So keep those things in mind. Now we're going to come out and go back to the lift again. And once again, you might lose us for a minute and then we will bob up again on level one and show you some of our other communal spaces and then we can do a bit of a, an FAQ. Should we go to the gym and the laundry? Then we can go to the cinema room as well and the terrace. Yes. Should we go to the terrace first then? First floor. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Not yet. We'll need to wait for a while. Welcome to Level 1 at Igloo South Yarra. This is our area here for a lot of our community activities and events, as well as areas for breakout and quiet study. Audrey is also kindly just zooming down onto our base level area. You can see the nice warm fire base, which is very Melbourne um, and very welcome on a day where it's quite cold. I just wanted to show you a feature that is available in all Igloo properties um, that really is uh, basically an interactive um, screen shows who's actually in the Igloo team, some local information about South Yarra, uh, what particular events we might have. You, some of you may recall that I spoke about our resident leader program, which is Igloo's employability program, where we've all got an opportunity to actually go through a recruitment and selection process. And one of the key things that our RLs do is actually put together our events. So uh, this week, we have um, a range of things going on. So there's a homemade pizza night. There's a foodie feast where we've partnered with a local French restaurant. Uh, we've got a crepe workshop. We've got um, a, uh, a beautiful um, uh, terrarium which um, students are actually making uh, potted plants actually in a terrarium and we're doing these workshops. But similarly, because of COVID restrictions, um, we actually have a homemade pizza night and we knew that students couldn't gather in a group, but we provided all the ingredients and then through house party, we've actually been able to uh, deliver that event. So we're always thinking creatively. All of the details um, are always available on these screens, as well as on our Igloo portal, which is available for students while they're living here. So this is our game space. We have our billiards or pool or snooker, as it's sometimes called, as well as obviously uh, the much-loved table tennis. When these spaces are able to be activated again and we're starting to um, ease our social restrictions uh, due to COVID here, so we're actually starting to see these things open up as early as the 22nd of June, uh, we'll be having competitions and things in a safe way 
um, with students to really, uh, I suppose, activate these spaces. We're also very privileged that we have a large outdoor terrace. From here, yeah, we just push. Yes. Nice heavy doors. <laughs> And so on a warm evening or an early morning, the sun is actually streaming. Here are our neighbours across the road, our Claremont supermarket, which is full of delicious Asian groceries. Um, but this is our outdoor terrace, and so we have a fully functioning kitchen down here and barbecue area where students um, and our resident leaders will run particular events. Uh, but similarly, if you invited your friends to run particular events, uh, but similarly, if you invited your friends over, and it doesn't matter what night of the week it is, you can actually book these spaces and come and cook together and eat together. So we have the full uh, barbecue set up as well, um, and these facilities are all open for students to use um, at your leisure. And we really encourage you to bring friends and family to Igloo as well. They love the kitchen. <laughs> it's our outdoor barbecue, very Australian. Now another much loved area. The mics is at the back. Is is our cinema room. So in here, and we're just, it's still so new in here, but what we encourage students to be able to do is come in, relax, watch some Netflix, some Stan, gather um, with their friends in due, in due course, watch their favourite sporting event. So if there's a World Cup soccer match on um, or the AFL Grand Final, students will actually come in and actually cheer for their favourite team dressed in their colours. But at the same time, we might use this space as a relaxation area. So it's not unusual for us during the week to plan, um, especially around exam times and things, wellness activities. We might bring in a yoga or a Pilates instructor uh, where we clear away the furniture here and it's through a booking process through reception that students can then come in and, you know, actively uh, participate in a yoga class or meditation, whatever it is that the community is looking for at the time. So we're really flexible and very much student-led in terms of what, what events uh, we can put in the So we're going to come scooting back through this way. I should say is that Igloo has been designed by um, a very well-known architectural firm in Australia called Bates Smart, and we've created spaces that are uniquely to the suburb in which they are found, but also try to use a number of materials that are very Australian, and the colours as well. So you'll see a lot of wood panelling here, and obviously then the colours of the rug up to the furniture and the design of the tables. So it's all about functional design uh, that's done in such a way um, that still enables students to be able to move around and use them in a comfortable setting while still aiding with uh, whether it is socialisation that you're after or peace and quiet for study. So we're going to come round now and just have a look. We've got a couple of meeting rooms, but we've also got our gym and our laundry right here. So we can't interrupt this meeting room because there's students in their study at the time. Uh, but you'll notice that actually we've got large screens. Um, so these are available in all of our meeting rooms where students can actually come and practice your presentations and assignments. Um, but you can use it for video conferencing as well. Now we're going to pop into the gym. Now this uh, room at the moment uh, is closed due to COVID restrictions, but we'll open up again with safe distancing measures applied on the 22nd of June. All of this equipment is brand new, and the idea is that um, the gym is open for students. Uh, 
We often find that students use it quite late at night uh, because they keep whatever hours they want depending on their study patterns. Um, but we are very much about that health and safety uh, element and we do at times bring in instructors too to do particular fitness classes. Um, but some students may want to train with a partner um, and it allows for enough flexibility. So again, all included in the weekly rental fee is access to the gym, the study spaces, all of our communal spaces. Um, the other area which I will show you, which is our only anomaly in terms of when you may need to pay a little extra, and that's for our laundry. So we have a laundry facility here, and it's $4 for a wash and $4 for a dryer. Really big machines. So sometimes we find that you might share your washing with a friend and half the cost and a really big dryer. So in order to use this, you actually just top it up uh, with your room key and um, then it's um, with, your, with your mobile phone and it's just charged then to your, your, um, your credit card or to Apple Pay. The other thing that I'll say about Igloo, and probably the washing machine is a good example, you'll notice that this dryer is lower and this machine is, you know, obviously a part. We do have um, fully accessible rooms for students that are um, accessible, um, if they've got um, uh, accessibility needs in terms of a wheelchair and height restrictions. Um, also, if there is um, hearing or, or visual impairment, we're also very well geared for that too. And we have a number of um, uh, particular apartments that will have the space provisions um, and the relevant requirements uh, that allow easier living uh, for those students, which we find is really popular because it can be somewhat difficult um, to find those facilities in the private residential market. To all of our letterboxes. Some of you are probably wondering why we've got letterboxes. It's still part of the Victorian regulation that every student must have a fixed address. So um, sometimes we do use it for notices, but most of the time correspondence comes via email. Uh, it could come from uh, WhatsApp, it could come from WeChat, depending on which channel um, you're after. We are sort of multiversed and multifaceted in terms of our, our channel of communication. But again, we also really love it when students come down and have a chat to us at reception. And we are here 24 seven uh, to be able to provide that level of support. So Audrey and I are gonna come down the staircase and we're gonna go down onto level one. We'll show you a couple more features and then we can go through some questions. main um, sitting area or our lounge. Um, we have the fireplace going all the time. It's a really, really lovely warm glow uh, and heat that comes from that, but it's a great space for students to mingle, uh, to catch up, to read a book, or to perhaps play a game on their phone. Through the back here, we have a couple of other pod seats for quiet study. Uh, communal tables and then two bookable meeting rooms again with uh, interactive screens which you can use as part of your uh, university gatherings uh, subjects that, that are requiring um, project work um, or presentation practice so all of those things are available um, to you while visiting here so what we might do is take a seat around the fire and um, I understand that there's a few questions that have already come through. If you've got any more, please keep sending them through. We've got a few more minutes and we can go through them. Okay. 
Audrey's going to ask some questions and then I'll do my best to answer them. Cool. Um, welcome, everybody. Um, so the first question is, is there any air conditioning in the apartment? Yes. So you may recall when we were in the, the four different apartments, um, they all had their own splitter and cooler. So they're called um, air conditioning heating units. They're all temperature controlled and you have the option to oscillate the airflow and the angle of the airflow as well as the temperature. So if during summer and the typical Melbourne summer um, averages between uh, 17 degrees up to 40 on some days, but mainly we get kind of an average of around sort of 25 to 26 degrees. So of course during those days you may use your air conditioning notwithstanding that at night you often don't need it on because we have the operable louver windows to let that natural ventilation in. And then obviously in winter, this morning it was pretty cold. We had a, we had a minimum of three and uh, we've come up to 15 degrees. Uh, no rain today, which has been lovely. But of course you might want your heater on in your room uh, during that time, um, but probably not on at night. But it's certainly there for, for your choice. Right. Thank you. Um, and the second question is, how long does it take from Igloo South Yarra to Monash Campus in Caulfield? Uh -huh. So we are a two-minute walk, literally two minutes from Igloo South Yarra, from um, Igloo South Yarra to South Yarra train station. From there, you can take a direct train to Caulfield, um, which would land you if you had timed it correctly. You could actually do it within 10 minutes door to door. Yeah. All right. Thank you. The third question is, can I start applying for accommodation for 2021? Uh, yes, you may. So by downloading the U-Homes app, uh, you may go on and inquire and book uh, a room. We have started to open up provisional bookings for semester one uh, 2021. Now, bearing in mind that our standard contract dates start typically around the 1st of February. But because of COVID restrictions, we are being uh, more flexible on those start dates. So if there is a particular date in mind, I would always encourage you to speak to your counsellor um, and put that uh, as part of the specification. And then with the counsellor and Alice Wong, who is our um, colleague sitting in China, who's also on this um, uh, platform at the moment, she can then help you actually um, secure the room that you're after at the date that you're looking for. All right. Um, next question is, does the property provide breakfast? So at the moment we are looking, some, some of our igloo properties have had what's called our grab-and-go breakfasts, which have been hugely popular. And we are looking at um, being able to provide that here. Um, at the moment, um, we don't have it operational, uh, but it's not to say that in the next couple of months that that doesn't actually move to be sort of Monday to Friday, a grab and go. So most likely um, your favourite coffee and a pastry um, on your way out the door to university. But what I can say is that typically we would run three, up to three food events per week that are all included in your weekly rent. Cool. Um, the next question is, can my parents stay with me for a few days? And is there a charge for it? Okay. We get asked this question a lot. And we love mums and dads. Um, we are really well versed and located here where in fact we have a partnership with the hotel right next door uh, and another one just around the corner. Typically when you are living here, uh, if you are in a premium studio apartment, you can obviously have an additional uh, person on your lease that lives with you, but they must be a student. Our guest policy is a maximum of two nights uh, per other room type. Now, so for a parent that's visiting, often for more than two nights, uh, we would uh, request that, in fact, uh, they make a reservation with the hotel right next door. So then you are very close to your mum and dad while they're here uh, in Melbourne, uh, but not actually uh, within Igloo. But they are very welcome to come and spend time down around our, our fireplace area or in our lobby, um, if required. All right. And next question is, what is the difference between the um, single and premium apartment? Yeah. So um, in terms of our, if I can look at that from our studio apartments, and if you 
reflect back the studio rooms have typically they've got a double bed and they've got their own kitchens. Um, the difference there between a standard studio, which is the room that we went into, versus our premium studio is really just place and location within the building. So we were on level 12. Now this building goes up to level 21. Some of the rooms I've seen out there have beautiful views of either the MCG, where Melbourne plays its grand final, um, out to Flemington Racecourse, where the Melbourne Cup is run, down to the waters of St Kilda Beach, where all the kite surfers are, or off to the Dandenongs, where the Thousand Steps Walk is. So these students are, and these views um, are amazing. And that's really the difference. It's, it's a bit like if you think of the hotel, you know, what is the kind of penthouse uh, versus your standard. And that's, that's really the only difference. There's nothing in terms of the actual facilities in the room. It's more about Vista. All right. The next question is, can I put a small washing machine in the room? Um, the simple answer to that is, is no. So as part of your weekly rent, we have um, Aaron and his team who are our facilities managers who are on site. They come and service everything in your room and it's very easy to log um, you know, an issue if say there's something wrong with the light globe or maybe your um, convention oven, not that we've had any real issues with those things. But in terms of washing machines, obviously they require additional power and a water facility and they are prone to leaking and so therefore we do not permit separate washing machines in rooms rather we uh, always encourage you uh, for the cost of eight dollars to do your wash and dry on site it's also digitally enabled so when your clothes are actually down in the laundry when it's finished it'll send a text message to your phone to say come and collect your washing all right our next question is very similar to the one that previously Jane has already explained. It's like, which room type can allow dual occupancy for couple? So it's the premium studio apartments that can um, have the dual occupancy. But as I said, uh, it does. your dual occupant does need to be a student. And it's roughly $70 per week uh, as an additional cost. And that um, additional occupant will be named onto your lease and therefore is also bound not only by the Residential Tenancies Act uh, but also by Igloo's House Rules, which is effectively like our Code of Conduct. Um, we have, we're in a unique situation here uh, where we celebrate um, people from all over the world. Um, we are able to deliver a service um, that is, you know, truly holistic in the way that it's delivered and it puts the student at, at at the front but we also ask for the behaviours of the students living here to be respectful and mindful also of your, your other residents that um, are, are living with you. All right. And the next question is um, they want to know if there is any popular restaurants around Igloo South Yarra. Lots. Having lived in South Yarra for some 10 to 15 years, I just live up the road, um, we are so lucky. Uh, everything from, as I said before, with the Paran market to sourcing your own food and some of the local um, supermarkets, big chains, as well as some of the Asian supermarkets, we've then got a plethora of restaurants. So from more chain-style restaurants uh, to specialty hamburger places uh, to great Japanese to brilliant and well-celebrated French restaurants, um, to more sort of an Asian fusion, Australian uh, kind of construct down um, just across the Yarra River where we've got um, everything from um, Top Paddock to Baby Pizza to Kong um, and to Frederick. Um, so they're some of Melbourne's best and most loved restaurants, um, accessible seven days a week and often open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. All right. The next question, we just have a few more to go, which is, where is the nearest train station and tram station and how convenient it is to the city? So convenient. So literally uh, South Yarra train station is in the next street to where we are. So if you've got Google Maps up, we're at 8 Claremont Street, South Yarra, 3141. And if you just step up into Yarra Street, you'll see the main entrance to South Yarra station. So that is literally a two minute, maybe less little than fast, that. <laughs> less than two minute walk. Um, and that will then provide you, it's a major train station in Melbourne, 
uh, quick access into uh, either the uh, the arts and sporting precinct in and around Richmond Station and Flinders Street Station uh, within uh, five minutes. Um, you are eight minutes into Melbourne Central, which will give you access to Emporium Shopping and RMIT and Melbourne University up the road. Um, and then eight minutes, obviously, in the other direction there to Monash Caulfield. Um, in terms of the tram, uh, there is also a direct tram, the number eight, which takes you all the way to Melbourne University's front door or to uh, Monash Parkville for any students wanting to study pharmacy. And then it also heads up into Turak Village, uh, off to Malvern, um, up to Glenfrey Road, Hawthorne, um, and down um, up to the northern side of Chapel Street where we've got um, uh, um, Collingwood Precinct, uh, Richmond, and then back the other way, all the way down to St Kilda and to Luna Park. All right. Oh, that's really <laughs> very, very convenient. And the next one they want to know is, is there any microwave oven in the studio apartment? Um, so in our studio apartments, we've actually got um, convention ovens. So what that means is that they're a combination of microwave and oven. All right. And one of the very important question is what is the cancellation policy for semester two, 2020? Great question. It's one that we're getting asked a lot. And being um, a member of our sales and marketing team, what we've wanted to do uh, by listening to all of our partners, both our university partners in Australia as well as uh, students still offshore uh, and being in close contact with the Department of Home Affairs in terms of travel bans. What we have done is effectively um, Igloo has always had what's called if you don't get a visa, if you don't get an offer from your institution then um, you don't have to pay even if you've booked your accommodation. What we've added to this is if you can't travel because of the um, travel ban to Australia from your particular home country. Um, bookings up until the 30th of September uh, that are made are obviously on a flexible start date. So we are taking those things into consideration. Um, I would always encourage you obviously to go onto the UHomes app um, to check out the, the fine print there as well as onto the Igloo website um, where we've got it all documented in terms of how that works. But basically what we're doing is we've held our rates from semester one to semester two, and we're allowing and encouraging students to secure their room type at Igloo South Yarra um, ahead of time under the proviso that, that universities are starting to open up. Now, what I'm hearing, and I work with all of them, is that a number of them are returning to face-to-face -to -face teaching at a faculty level from as early as mid-July. Now, there is also looking like a pilot of international students being able to re-enter Australia uh, again from mid-July. We don't have the hard and fast rules and regulations around that at this point in time, but we are staying close to the issue and obviously wanting to work with our partners to be as flexible as we can to provide that confidence. I think the other thing that I would like to um, uh, just articulate at this point, during this COVID lockdown, we have not had a single case of COVID in any of our, our communities, and we've got nearly 4,000 beds between Melbourne, Brisbane and Sydney. We've also got a very, um, I suppose, strict policy where any student that is coming in from offshore, subject to obviously um, the quarantine requirements, we have partner hotels set up to be able to provide that top level service for a 14 day period, and then subject to um, you know, a negative COVID test, then everybody is welcomed into our community. But we're not providing quarantine services actually in our buildings at the risk of um, the health of not only the student entering, but also our current students. And we've got lots of people that have chosen to live at Igloo and we want to keep it that way. And we really want to keep our staff healthy too. Thank you very much, Jane. Um, I think they're all very happy with the response. Uh, they have just one last request is to have a look at the street view of the supermarket. Let's go. Yep, yeah. and I guess they want to see Chapel Street as well. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Come on out. Yeah. It's a bus with a grocery store. Hi. So down here, we have 
bubble tea, which has just been set up. And there's also another arcade just through, uh, through there. Our Asian supermarket. <laughs> and if we just shoot up here, you'll be able to see how close we are to Turak Road and Chapel Street. 大概走兩分鐘就可以出到外面吃東西了。對啊,超市非常大的。You're like, that's a big Asian gosa? Yeah, just one behind us too. Yeah. 走路不到一分鐘哦,就可以到那個大街上,就有非常多吃的東西。火车站就在这边，啊，右转就可以到了，一分钟就到了。好啦，我们出到来啦。好，火锅就在这边。对，你们看到电车吗？ There you go, here the tram is. Drop down the chapel, that's all we have to do. Okay, you've all seen it. Okay. The train is here, it's about 1 minute. Okay. Thank you for joining us today. Do you have any questions? 好啦，谢谢你们，拜拜。